cool little run that he's doing the half step bend too. It's more common to have the whole step in there. 17 on the high E. And what you're gonna do here is bend it, whammy vibrato. Release it, and then pre-bend release it. 14, 17 E. And then go 17 B bend to the 17 E. 17 B bend release. 15 B bend. And then go uh, 15B, you're going to do the bend to 17, 15 bend. 16G, pull 15. And then 16G. I like that, that run too. So you got like from the 17B bend. Six minutes, 40 seconds in, we're going to bend the 10B, third finger. 7E, 10E bend. 7E. Vibrato, so it's and then go nine on the G, pull to seven to seven B, and then nine seven G bend nine D vibrato, and you'll see double dots. That's the six minute forty second timestamp marker. So you have. You do that two times. That takes you to the top of page five, six minutes, 48 seconds. Bend the 10B to 7E. 10E bend, 7E. 10B to 7E. 10E bend to 7E. So it's kind of it's different uh, combinations of those notes and strings. 10 on the B, and then the high E is 7, 10 bend, 7 slide. But pull up the song, you know. I try to follow the timestamps in your tabs and then and play along with each one. Six minutes, 53 seconds, seventh fret G and B string, index finger barred to 9D. And then nine on the G, half step, bend release, pull off to seven. To 9D twice, slide. So it's... And then if you listen close, you'll hear some string mutes like the a, D, G, B, or D, G, B, E, down, up, down, up, into the 7, G, B, bar. 9, D, twice, so it's... And then bend the 7s on the G, B again. And then 9, D, pull 7, 9, D, vibrato, so it's... Pull 7D, 9D, and then 7GB twice. 9's GB pulls to 7's, to 9D vibrato. 9-7DG half step bend. 9 pull 7 on the D, 9D. And then 7 minutes, 7 seconds in, we're gonna go 9-7DG. And then 9 pull 7 on the D. To 9D, rest, again, break. So it's 7 minutes, 9 seconds in. 9G, we're going to bend. Oh yeah, okay, this is a... You'll go bend on the 9G, 7 on the... And this is all alternate picks. 7, 7, 10 on the B. Pull off to 7 and repeat it three times total. G bend, 9 pull 7 twice, to 9D. You can go 7 9G bend, 7 E, 10 pull 7 on the B. So you would have 9G twice pull to 7, to 9D, 7G, 9 pull 7D, 9A, slide to 7, pull to 5, to 7E, Rest to 5A. So from that 9G bend, watch. Seven minutes, 15 seconds in on the D string. Two, four, four, half step bend release. Bend it again, half step release. Bend release, and then four, two, four, two. 
and then go to the E string, 2, 5, 5, slide to 7. Vibrato. 7 minutes, 23 seconds in, we're going to bend the 10 B. Hold it and go, 1, 2, 3. Vibrato with the whammy. Unison bend, 10 B, 7 high E. We're going to hit them both, bend the B string, and then strum two times after. Then we're going to go to 9 E, 12 B, and we're going to hit them both, bend the B. Oops. Twice afterwards. And that's going to, you'll see double dots. So it's 10 E, 13 B. Bend it on the B string and vibrato, and that's twice. Down up 10, 12 E, and he goes 15 B, 12 E. Hit them both, bend the B string, vibrato. Again. Okay, then on the B string, 17, bend, and then 14, 17, high E. That's four times. Sounds like this. You may want to use the middle finger here, but you don't have to. You could use third, but it seems to flow more with middle index and third for me. Okay, top of page six. This is our last page. 14 high E, 17 B. We're gonna hit them both, bend the B string. So you're gonna go again, again, bend release. A lot of delay kicking in here, Alan. It's uh, really hard to hear it. So I know he's in this area with the notes. 17 B bend to 17 high E. It's a hold, so make sure you hear them both and go. And do the same kind of concept here, but it's 17 B, 14 E. Hit them both, bend the B string, and release it. And just several times. And then eight minutes, three seconds in, 17 high E, hammer 19. Again, four times. Okay, and then 17 high E bend to 19 E. 19 B slide to 17. 15B, 16G to 15B hammer 17. So let me play that. So it'd be. Okay, and then 10 on the B slide to 12. Again. And, and then, uh, so it's slide, slide, slide back, and then pick, whammy, vibrato. So it's. Okay, the ending of it. Third fret E, don't pick it, just have the whammy about an inch down, hammer the three E, bring it up to pitch. So you'll go. Pick the two E. Uh, same thing on the open E, whammy up to it. And then five on the low E string, slide to seven. And then on the A, go five, seven, seven, slide to nine, vibrato. So it's. Okay. Then go uh, on the D string, go 7 on the D and G, and then 9 on the D twice. On the G, 7, 9, so, and then half step, pre been released, 9G, pull off to 7. Love this stuff. You'll go down, up, down, up, 9D, 9G, 9D, 7G. So it's... Nine G bend, seven B E down up, ten B down, pull off to seven. So we have nine G bend. You actually repeat it, but don't pull it off the second time. So it's nine G bend release, pull to seven, and then nine on the D G D down up down. So although there is a rest on the first nine G bend. Next one, he keeps going, so. And that's it, man. Tons of riffs, um, all this stuff really, for the most part is pentatonic stuff, Alan, and um, it's beautiful. It's just, it's awesome, you know? You nailed it, I can see why it's your favorite solo. I think it's one of John Petrucci's favorite solos too, from Dream Theater, so. I get it, man. All right, dude. You are officially caught up, my brother. Five CBTs this month. Woo! That's tied for a record. We'll talk to you later, man.